All right, we're gonna give it its first little run on 4S. It's kind of getting a little late, so we don't have much time to go anywhere else. And I'm also gonna try to drive it one-handed, which is not my specialty. I will say on 4S, it's plenty of power. Yeah, it feels pretty good. It's hard to tell till we hit some jumps and stuff. The diff fluid doesn't feel too bad, but it's its first run, nothing's loosened up yet. In 4S, it pulls willies, no problem. Just running a Power Hobbies 100C 6000 4S for the first run. I still gotta figure out the Velcro. <clears throat> None of my 6S stuff is gonna fit in there. I like to run dual 3S packs and they're gonna not fit. I will say the steering servo is super weak, but I think like I said in my unboxing video, it's a high voltage servo and I haven't checked to see that it's cranked up. I'm gonna assume it's not, the BEC is at just regular six volts. Still a clean run here before we go to the dirt and get it all scratched up. Whoa, almost went over backwards. I do want to say the truck handles awesome. I'm driving one-handed. I never do this, but I can't find my mount for my camera. And filming and driving with one hand, the truck is super stable. curved it. crashed it. Trying to keep it a little clean for the first couple of runs before we get too, too crazy with it.
You know, if this thing rips this good on 4S, it's going to be just like their other trucks. On <clears throat> 6S, it's going to be awesome. Same power system. Reverse is extremely weak. Not that you need it to be too much, but it's because it's turned like all the way down. <clears throat> Center diff needs to be a little thicker. Just a little bit though. But, uh, just on 4S for getting the ballooning. All right, guys, that's the first run on 4S of the Kagama. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.